What's up, Phil Ebener here with Video School Online and I have a brand new Premiere Pro tutorial all about using music in your projects and how we can properly fade in and fade out our music, matching it with dialogue and things like that so that your audio sounds amazing. Everything's done right within Premiere Pro. So let's dive into Premiere and start learning. There are a few ways to fade in and out of music or any audio in Premiere Pro. I'm going to show you how to do it in three ways, hopefully in the next minute or so. So I've added this music clip and I have these credits that I've been working on and it's obviously too long. So I'm going to take this music clip, cut it to the length of my credits. And the easiest way is with a keyboard shortcut. For Mac users, it's Command Shift D. That should be Control Shift D. And that creates a constant power fade, which is basically just a regular fade in and out. So I can actually extend the length of this fade so it sounds a little smoother just by clicking the edge of the fade, dragging to the left. So that was a little bit longer. There are different types of fades though that you can find here in the effects bin under audio transitions under crossfade. So we use the constant power, which is the default transition for audio, but you can also use what's called the exponential fade, which kind of ramps up or ramps down the fade. So listen to this one. I think that exponential fade when fading out music sounds a little bit better. So those are two ways to do it. You can also actually right click and just apply default transition, which is the same thing as pressing Command Shift D on a Mac. Now you can also do this a manual way with keyframes. So what you have here on your audio track, if you don't see it, make sure you open up your audio track, maybe extend it so you see this line here. If you don't see this line or you don't see something else, right click the clip, go to show clip keyframes, and make sure it's on volume level. Now with the pen tool right here, we can actually just click to set a keyframe and then click somewhere else to set another keyframe. And we can drag these keyframes up or down to actually increase or decrease the level of the audio. So see how I created this sort of upward angle of this line? That means that the audio is going from negative infinity basically, which is no sound, all the way to our regular level. So see how that got really loud? We can also do this at the end by clicking here. And notice if I click and drag down, what happens is it creates a fade from this existing keyframe up here. So the keyframes, you really need two to create a fade. So I'm just going to undo that. Then I'm also going to click here. And then I'm going to take this last one and drag it down. So we have this longer fade. And also notice how I can drag to the left or right to make it shorter or longer. So that's using the pen tool. You can also press this keyframe button right here to add keyframes and then you can move them. You can even move them with the selection tool once you have set the keyframes with this button here. And this is also a way you can bring up or down the level of audio in the middle of video or in the middle of any audio. Say there's a loud noise you wanna bring down or maybe you have music that you want to bring down underneath someone talking. This is how you can do it in a custom sort of manual way. Okay, so those are just a few ways to quickly add a fade in or out to your music or any audio in Premiere Pro. Well, I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, please like and subscribe to the channel for more. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below in the comments. And if you're looking to take your skills to the next level, make sure you head over to videoschoolonline.com where we have premium courses, more free tutorials and articles, guides and all kinds of stuff that will help you become a better creator. Thanks so much for watching and have a beautiful day.